Hi there, it's Emma from Emma's Cards and Paper Crafts. Today we are hopping with the Stamp Around UK um, video hop. Um, the theme this month is in colours. So I've decided to pull out um, some old and some new. So we've got the one of a kind, which is brand new Christmassy stamp set, and last year's Sparkling Snowflakes Christmas stamp set. And um, I always do rainbow snowflake cards. Well, the ink colours aren't quite rainbow, but I've made my own little scale of colours out of the ink colours from both um, 21 to 23, no, 23 to 25 colours and the 22, no, I'm going to start all over again, the 23 to 25 colours and the 24 to 26 colours. So Moody Mauve and Boho Blue were new last year. Um, Petunia Pop, Summer Splash, Peach Pie and Pretty in Pink were new this year. Um, so we're going to uh, match those up. So what we are going to do is a one sheet wonder. Um, I've mounted up some of my stamps here. So I'm just going to lay these out and match each one with its stamp. And then um, some of the brighter colours I don't want to overpower them but at the same time some of my favorite ones I uh, want a little bit more of them so the card bases we're going to be using today are Summer Splash and Moody Mauve so I'm going to do a big one on each of those and maybe a big one on Peach Pie and then a little one on each of those so I'm going to lay those out in front of me so each stamp is going to stay with each pad and I'm not going to muddle them up so that we've got different snowflakes for all of them we're going to take a A4 sheet turn that one over because it's got a few marks on that side um, I should put the rest of my cardstock out of the way a second because I've got everything out in front of me in such a tiny space um, and I'm lay my ink pads out the best I can in front of me might just carefully stack them. There we go. Um, we're going to start off with our two main colours actually that I want. So we're going to start off with the Moody Mauve and the Summer Splash just because they're the. We're going to be using the coordinating cardstock for the backgrounds for these. So we're going to start off by. If you can imagine four quadrants on your cardstock, we're going to create a cross in the center. And then, so I'm going to take one at a time. And I'm just going to stamp along that cross. something like that we can add some more of those in in a minute if we want to but I'm gonna take this slow because we don't want to put too much in all at once because we want to have plenty of spaces left for our little stamps right now I think I might put one more over here it doesn't matter if it goes off your paper slightly because it's all gonna be cut up anyway so that's those two. Our next big one is Peach Pie, I think it's our next biggest one. So we're going to do Peach Pie next. I'm just going to put my stamps back on top of each of the pads so I know which one went with which. Um, so I'm just gradually filling in all the gaps. All the different stuff, uh, snowflakes and these stars then. Like so, so I think that's enough of that one. Now we're gonna go for let's go for petunia pop next. So 
don't panic too much if your shapes don't stamp perfectly. And they need to be perfect in this because when we cut it up into our four pieces, we will trim them down slightly. So it won't show. There we go. So I think that's enough of that one for now. Let's go with pretty and pink next. This is my tiniest one. So there's no rhyme or reason to where I'm putting these. I'm just putting them in random little gaps all over, just trying to fill in the gaps as we go. Um, and I'm just gonna put my finger in the ink now. Um, there we go, and then last up we've got boho blue. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That will have to be hidden. We will hide that. We will find a way to hide that. Tiny gaps we've got. I think that's pretty good though. So I'm going to call that done. So let's got my scrubby dubby off to the side. I'm just going to give it a spritz and I'm just going to stack all my stamps on it so that I can clean them off afterwards. So Close all these stamps up. There we go. Otherwise, I'll end up with ink absolutely everywhere. So, oh, that one's been super tight and stuck. I need to put my trimmer. So, there we go. So because we're going to be putting these on card bases, we're going to cut these or cut out four 10 by 14, yeah, 10 by 14 um, mats. So we put our scoring one out of the way and then we're going to put this at 10 centimeters and then it's not quite 10 centimeters there we go now it is straight down there we're then going to do the exact same we're going to slide this one across and put this up to 10 centimeters again trim off that edge so that a little extra we don't need. And then we're going to cut it at 14. Let me turn my trim around. Pop that up to 14. actually and pop this up to 14 and cut off the excess at the top here as well so that bit we don't need and then again we'll cut 14 here there we go 
and then because we've got this little bit where I dropped the stamp in the middle here we're actually going to turn it around this way I'm going to cut that end off so that we can get rid of the majority of that accidental splatter and nobody will know any different so we're going to get a tiny smidgen of it there so that's that out we need to cut our card bases now I've got one sheet of summer splash and one sheet of moody mauve i'm going to cut these at 14 and a half like so just trim off the tiny excess of the bottom here and i'm going to score those at 10 and a half No, ten and a half nearly went majorly wrong then. So ten and a half. And then summer splash. And now we're gonna cut up fourteen and a half. And then again at fourteen and a half. Why is that not seeing straight? Four card bases. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a rub with my uh, bone folder. Now we're going to create, and we're going to stick on our um, card fronts like so. So two of these are going to be landscape cards, and two will be portrait. So the two landscape and two portrait, like so. I'm going to stick those on there. Up where I uh, stick on the first one. It's not completely straight, got a little bit of time to wiggle it so it is straight. Next I'm actually yet to pick a sentiment to put on these. Hadn't got that far into my thought process. And I've left this pretty last minute. It has to be uploaded by tonight. <laughs> so.
it's a little bit too much length I need it. So now we need to look for sentiment. Um, sending a flurry of happy wishes, hope you have the merriest season ever, make the season sparkle, winter greetings, let it snow. I might go with make the season sparkle. I do quite like that one anyway. Um, let's find another stamp block. I'm going to stamp this with black, I think. There we go. Not quite sure that's completely straight on there, is it? There we go. It looks a little bit straighter to me now. The word sparkle is going off at an angle. Let's have some one of these way. Okay, that's all those stamped. I'm going to pop that up on my scrubby dubby to be cleaned up as well. And then on the inside, we're going to cut some um, panels to go on the inside as well, just because they're both relatively dark coloured card. Um, most of you know I don't normally put panels on the inside, but I just want to, as it's such dark colour card so we're going to cut those at 14 by 10 again so this little strip here as it's nice and clean and whatever I'll keep that in my scraps um, thing same as these bits I'm about to cut off the edges here as well I'll keep those in my scraps because when you're doing sentiments on card front sometimes you just need a tiny thin sliver it seems a shame to just cut up a new piece of card just for a tiny bit. Um, And with these, I'm going to take my Summer Splash and my Moody Mauve, and then I'm going to make, I'm going to stamp on the insides a few snowflakes of each colour, just to coordinate with the cardstock. So, let's very carefully get my collection of stamps out again, and just balance them all on. So. Clean them off. Stack them up over here. We won't use all of them, but just like two or three, maybe. And probably the uh, smaller ones rather than the bigger. Probably won't use that one. Probably use this one as my biggest one. Oh, yeah, I'll go with that one as my biggest one. And then I'll probably use the three small ones that I've got out. There we go. Put that back out of the way. Put that one out of the way. And then 
So let's do the two summer splash ones. So we're going to want to do these. One portrait and one landscape. I'm just going to stamp from the corner up the side a little. We'll clean up the um, ink pad a little bit in a minute. Oh, workspace in here a little bit. Okay, I think that's enough. I don't want to overdo it, so we didn't use that one. So we're going to stick to the same three for the uh, other one. So. There we go. So it sounds like I have a child coming down from the attic room again. off to the side just to dry a little bit and clean up my mess and then scrub these off on a scrubby dubby this one again and then this time we're going to do the moody mauve oh my scrap's getting in the way and again we're going to do one portrait and one landscape one Again, we're doing it completely random. I don't want them both to be the same. There we go. I managed to get my fingers in the ink that time. Ah, oh, now I dropped the pad ink everywhere so let me just clean up my hands a second and then I can rub with a baby wipe I've got a dry one here though so that's gonna have to do so rather inky fingers now <laughs> um I need to clean up my mat as well because I don't want it to end up on the back of my cards in a minute there we go all dry so now we're going to stick these in. So, our landscape one of these. Summer splash one. Seems quite on ironic that we're using summer splash on a uh, Christmas card, but I suppose it's good for the Aussies since they have Christmas in summer. Okay, by stamping inside we've kind of just tied the snowflakes in from the outside 
to the inside with the uh, cardstock colour. Next up we've got Moody Mauve. Definitely think at Christmas I'm more Moody Mauve than I am Summer Splash. Now I'm not going to put a sentiment on the inside because I like to uh, have plenty of space to write inside my Christmas cards. Um, but we are going to give them a little bit of a jazz up with a few of the thin colour gems. So we've got the um, resin dots and the shimmer gems. So. I haven't used the resin dots so much, I think they go resin dots. And we're going to go with like three different colours, I think. So, this one is a big summer splash. There we go. Maybe a little petunia pop and then maybe a little peach pie and I'm going to do all different for all of them so I'm going to do a big petunia pop on this one Without it being made up. Okay, that was a little pretty and pink one, and then let's have a little summer splash on this one, seeing as it's a summer splash card base. I feel like we have to have a little bit of that one on there. And then let's go for a big, big pink one up there. little petunia pop and a little summer splash and then we're going to go for the big peach pie um, try to use them all equally but one and a little petunia pop I think that's what we'll go with there we go so let's get all those back in there we go it's so all four cards simple as that four quick and easy cards made from a single stamped card that's sheet of a4 cardstock well I hope you've enjoyed watching my video for the um, Stamp Around UK video hop um, please do go to the description below and you will see all the other lovely projects from all of the other team members around the UK um, so do go and watch their videos too and see what they've made with the in colour theme um, let's see how many of them have uh, gone for Christmassy things so I don't know be quite surprised I'm just getting my groove for my Christmas crafting already. I love Christmas crafting. It's my favourite time of year to craft, so it's just going to be Christmas from here on out, I'm afraid. <laughs> Hopefully that's not a problem. Um, I'll see you again soon in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.